The Nurse in the Military Madhouse is a commedia all italiana, which, as is often the case in the army, is set and at the same time saw the cliche of the nurse with the psychiatric ward, which is the linchpin. Mariano Lorenti, who also shot the unbearable, now sees doing it with the timpani in the same year. Wonderfully captured the charm of Nadia Cassini, who is considered to be rather uncharming as a private person, and can sometimes even convince on a humorous level with the promise of going to Broadway. The young singer Grazia Vanessini lets herself be convinced by the impresario of the night, where she works. Johnny to pretend to be a nurse to find to painting that, according to the man, would have been stolen from her mother's house and then hidden in the psychiatric clinic of Professor Amediao La Russa. Destined for the department of the med who believe themselves to be famous generals, Grazia begin her research having at the same time to beware of the excessive bellicosity of her patient, not only of her military nature and to keep Professor La Russa, who seek compensation for his wife's frigidity. Finally, in the room of the crazy painter Pepino, she Grazia find the two painting, but she also discovered that they are two Caravaggio that they didn't belong to Johnny's mother and that finally Johnny he wanted to steal them to resell them and go to America with a girlfriend. With the help of Larusa's young assistant who has fallen in love with her, Grazia foils Johnny's plan, if not Broadway, find a man. When it came to Lobro Italian comedy, Nadia Kayasini was probably the third most famous actress in 1970s Italy after Edwidge Fanek and Gloria Guida. But unlike with the other two, none of her movies has yet received a legitimate English language DVD release. Physically, the three actresses were quite different. Fanek was voluptuous, Guida was a petulant Lolita while Cassina had a late some dancer's body. She unfortunately does one horrid disco song and dance number here. But what they all had in common though was an ability to constantly lose their clothing and drive men everywhere, mad with lust. In this film, Cassini is a singer, Sogal, who poses as a nurse to recover some stolen painting, which for some reason are hidden in a military insane asylum. Lino Bonfi play the head doctor. He is hot to get it in the new nurse lingerie because his own wife is both frigid and perpetually undressed. He tried to give her a Chinese aphrodisiac at one point but his plan goes awry and he end up being cuckolded both by Alvaro Whitley and a delivery boy who is even more unattractive than Vitaly or Bunfi. Vitaly wearing an afro fright wig plays a painter who I think is one of the patient but he is somehow able nevertheless to land Carmen Russo. A real life Italian version of Jessica Rabbit as his undressed model. I think this movie set some kind of record for casting really hot women and really ugly guys. Rounding out the cast is future star Karen Schubert as the mistress of Cassini's art thief employer. All the women in this movie get undressed, natched, but Unfortunately, so does Bunfi. The director Mariano Lorenti was less talented than more well-known Italian comedy director like Sergio Martino, 
or Pascal combined faster. But on the other hand, he was definitely better than Marcel Tarantini or some of the other hack who worked in the genre. As these movies go, this is pretty average. It might be worth seeing simply for the frequently unclad female cast. And the comedy, while not very funny, is not as annoying as it could be. Lino Bunfi run an insane asylum for people who think they are military generals. The only way he can get them to cooperate is to play up to their delusion and it's driving him mad. There is also his stunning wife Neus Navarro who refuses to give him any and a new nurse at work who is driving him to distraction. The new nurse is not really nurse but an accomplished war thief who want to steal some painting belonging to asylum. In met Alvaro Vitali who sees mosquito everywhere. Not as bawdy as some of the Italian comedies of the era but still with some inappropriate dressing. Vitali and Bunfi are at their prime here. This lame brain comedy nurse at the military madhouse is set in a military psychiatric hospital and make the three stooges look like high grade intellectual fare. Much of the comedy is pure low grade slapstick. Doors slam in faces. People tripping over a bucket of water or being punched in you get the idea. The story such as it is involves some valuable painting hidden in the hospital. Nadia Kaseni performs an embarrassingly awful song and dance number about halfway through. She is admittedly easily on the eye as is from a Jalo Queen New Navarro, billed here as Susan Scott, who contribute a couple of very hot scenes. Even so, this provide the only possible reason for watching this strange little movie. In search of two precious painting on behalf of her manager, the singer Grazia pretend to be a nurse to infiltrate the psychiatric hospital of Professor Amedio La Russa and carry out the task undisturbed. But some wild patient and her attraction to a handsome doctor will put a spoke in the wheel. Mariano Lorenti, also a screenwriter with Francesco Milizia, direct a slender but at times amusing comedy of misunderstandings. The screenplay leaked from all sides and the plot is pretext and senseless. But the curtain by Lino Bunfi with the mentally ill convinced of being historical character unleashes a demented and smashing comedy that work. The gorgeous Nadia Cassini generously saw of her rear and spent her time defending herself from the love attack of anyone. La Russa's dream is hilarious as she chases the ethereal and naked grace in her thong to give her a symbolic injection. Alvaro Vitali is the love addict painter Pepino, Karen Subbert is Eva. Neus Navarro, who stripped almost as much as Cassini, credited as Susan Scott, is Veronica La Russa, music by Gianni Ferrio. In a psychiatric clinic, equipped with a specific ward for the mentally ill, who believe themselves to be great military leader, a provocative nurse arrives who immediately arouses the lively attention of all patients and the owner. Enduring every day the advances of madmen who believe themselves to be famous generals. And the fiery director is not easy, but the girl does not give up. In reality, the nurse smoke is a disguise. She's an aspiring singer who, to please her manager, has sneaked into the clinic in an attempt to recover some precious stolen painting. To support her role, she just has to go along with everyone. Professor Amedio La Russa direct a psychiatric clinic where sick people who are mostly believed to be great general of the past are hospitalized. There one day a provocative nurse arrived, Grazia Mancini, 
The woman in reality is a singer in contact with the impresario who want to find some declared family painting present in the structure transported there by a murdered accomplice after using her as a guinea pig to convince patient to get the injection without a fuss the patient and amedio himself go crazy for gracia while amedio upon the arrival of his wife goes to the beach with gracia convinced that he can have love there except to find himself in the company of two of the sick people she invited in the clinic his wife has love with one of the patient the painter the painter had been to villa paradiso from which the painting were taken away in this way grazia try to find the painting in the painter studio discovering that the same has repainted the caravaggio that she considered ugly obtaining them as a gift meanwhile amedio's wife apathetic is convinced to take a chinese aphrodisiac drug but every time she return home due to an inconvenience the professor arrive late that is when she has already had love with a boy the bishop come to visit the structure 